Hello, sweet souls. Happy Sunday. It's September 15th, and this is going to be your last reading of the day. We're only doing two readings on the Tasha's Divine Guidance channel today, so um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action. Toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what we got for you guys today. What's coming in for the collective? Truth and only truth for the collective. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. A happy day. A lot of peace. I hope you go outside in nature today. Spend some time alone. All right, let's see what else we get, guys. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. All right. Um, <laughs> you guys... Okay, you guys may be picking up on some energy projection. You may feel or be thinking about someone from your past and you don't know why. Well, I'm about to tell you why. You got this person that's still very much wearing a mask. Very, very, very much wearing a mask. This person has not been able to um, be honest with themselves or honest with others. This is someone that is still stuck in a karmic cycle, but they're deep in thought about you. This is someone that could be actively manifesting you at this moment because they're not happy with the choices and decisions they've made. Now they're looking at you as their jackpot. Treasure Island, you are their Treasure Island. They've come to recognize and realize whatever they chose uh, did not turn out the way they expected. This is kind of a spinoff of the last reading. This person is now at a fork in the road. They're at a crossroads in their life. Things are stuck, stagnant, and nothing is evolving. Um, nothing is coming together the way they thought. So this person obviously is going to mentally swing back to you. You're going to feel this energy. You're going to feel them pulling on your energy. So let's see what we get here, guys. Um, you know, it's and the energy, so we have to read it. Uh, for those of you that resonate, you will know that you're picking up this person's energy. You may have periods of depression and anxiety that do not come from you. Recognize that it is not yours. Do not give energy to it. Uh, be consciously aware of it floating into your, um, you know, conscious mind, your awareness, but do not give any energy to it. Okay, send it back to where it belongs is what the, I would say to you. Uh, but let's get into this and see what we get, guys. All right, <clears throat> let me get situated. Let's get into this and see. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. Please clarify all that glitters. Why is this in collective energy? All that glitters. All that glitters. Yeah. See, this person went into a marriage or a long-term commitment with false pretense. This person had a hidden agenda. This person, um, I'm getting the sinking feeling, did not choose love, but they chose something else. Um, going into a long-term commitment or a marriage. The blockage is they made the wrong decision and they know it. And that's why this person wants to come in uh, in this Knight of Cups, which is historically our love bomber, gaslighter energy. Knight of Cups is a non-committal energy with the surrounding cards and the all that glitters. This person thinks that they can work their magic with you again, collective. I know, I know. You don't trust this person with the moon. They're, you don't trust this person as far as you could throw them. Um, and so I don't feel that collective is at risk of falling into the love bomb trap. I just don't. All right, let's clarify round and round, round and round, round and round. Yeah, exactly. Spirit, this person chose a karmic. They chose a third party. This person could have put you in a third party situation thinking the grass was greener, thinking they were upgrading. But like I said, this person did not choose this relationship for love. There was an ulterior motive. That's why we see this person made the wrong decision. This person is now sitting in the energy of being bored, depressed, stuck, feeling um, sad, feeling sorry for the decisions that they made, stuck in this karmic cycle. And they, they know that you were their soulmate. This is a reality check. This is a reality check. The universe is saying, okay, you think the grass is greener. You wanna throw away your soulmate, which is a gift and blessing to you from the divine. You want to go off and um, you think that you're going to gain either money, status, what have you from this other person. We're going to give you exactly what you asked for. We're going to give you a karmic, a karmic that matches your energy. And so that's what I feel like is happening here, guys. This is how the universe teaches you a lesson. All right, let's look at thinker. What is this person thinking about? Why does the collective need to know this? 
Well, they just threw it on the floor. Hold on a second. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At least on a subconscious level, this person is thinking their selfish ways landed them where they are in a karmic connection that has blocked any progress, forward movement in their life. This is what this person is thinking now. Like, you know, it's like this person woke up from a state of, it's almost like they were in a spiritual coma and now they're awake and they're like, what in the heck did I do? What did I do? Can you give me one more on thinker? How, how ironic, how ironic, how ironic. This person <clears throat> is now waking up from their spiritual coma and realizing you were the gift. You were the gift. This person is projecting energy because they want um, to communicate. They do. They are seeing your worth now. Now this person is waking up realizing they have bound themselves to a karmic connection because of their own selfish ways and they've lost their gift, which is you. A proud, confident, independent energy that does not need them. Yeah, this person's feeling pretty sad. Sorry for themselves right now. Uh, they're surrounded by a lot of chaos and conflict, you know? All right, let's see. Why is the treasure island here? Treasure island. Treasure island. <laughs> Gosh. Treasure island. This person sees you as this treasure island. You are where the abundance lies. They could have had it all had they not been... Um, ego driven had they not been selfish self-absorbed somebody that really thought that they were all that in a bag of chips that people would be fawning over them that they would be able to kick you to the curb and go find someone that they thought the grass was going to be greener this person the blockage is there in a nightmare a nightmare that they can't look away from it's in their face blaring day in and day out they're in a nightmare this person is coming to the realization they juggled their gift their blessing this was their their treasure this person could be tapping into their intuition now, or this is just you. They're recognizing whatever you spoke to them, whatever you told them was fact. You may have intuitively said to this person, look, you're going down the wrong path. You're going to break your own heart. You, this person's going to cheat, lie, or steal just like you do with them. You may have warned this person. Let's get one more. Clarify the high priestess. Let's clarify the high priestess. Yeah, you spoke truth to this person. You spoke truth. The high priest is the king of swords. You told them intuitively what you were getting from the situation and they didn't want to have it. They didn't want to hear it because somebody that operates in the king of wands energy on the fence, this is someone that thinks they're a know-it-all. They know everything. You can't tell them anything. Yeah. This person, uh, I feel like they're in fear now with the moon because they know that what you spoke was the truth. They know it's going to end in heartbreak. They do. They broke their own heart. And I, I feel like collective, you warn this person, you're going to take that path and it's not going to end well for you. All right, let's see. Let's uh, clarify the fork in the road. Please clarify the fork in the road, Holy Spirit. Tell me about the fork in the road. Fork in the road. Yeah. You see, here's the thing. This person is now stuck at a stalemate, at a crossroads. They know that they're going to have to put in a lot of work. This is an emperor. This is someone that sh should have been a divine partner to you. They should have been a true leader. They should have worked on your relationship when they had the opportunity. They know that they're going to have to put in a lot of work to match your energy. Nine of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> they know that they would have to do a whole lot of work. And I feel like this is part of the reason why uh, it didn't work out in your relationship. This person was unwilling to put in the work. They were filled with ego and pride, false pride. Um, they thought they were better than you. Now you have your guard up to this person. They're not welcome in your energy. For most of you, this person, they're not welcome. You're not interested in relearning the lesson you've already learned. So <clears throat> let's see what else we get, guys. So with all that glitters, we can see there's a false person that's still false. 
uh, they made the wrong decision. They committed or married someone that's karmic in nature. And now this person um, thinks that they can swing back around and give you an offer. And I know you're not interested, but it's in the energy. So you may be picking up on this person's energy. Um, please clarify all that glitters. Yeah, again, this false person's waking up to the fact that you were the gift. The blessing lies with you. You know, they had this delusional belief that by discarding you, the grass was going to be greeter, greener and everything was going to be amazing, including their finances. That's not what they have discovered. No, it's not. All right, round and round, they're stuck in a karmic cycle with a third party feeling pretty sorry, sorry for themselves. They know they made the wrong decision. Um, so let's see, round and round. It's ending. They're going through an ending. They know that it's only a matter of time. This third party situation was failed to uh, end. It was meant to be defeated. It was, you can't build a stable foundation on lies, deception, treachery, um, not good intentions. It's destined to fail is what I'm trying to say. It's destined to fail and they know it. They know that they're gonna go through this abandonment, rejection, even possibly financial ruin. They know this. Their higher self is telling them this. Now they're deep in thought because this, this person is realizing they were selfish, uh, egotistical, and they chose a karmic partner. And now they're recognizing you're the gift. Um, they're projecting, they wanna communicate because they see your value now. You never needed this person all along. You never needed them. Please clarify thinker. Please clarify thinker. Yeah, see, the other thing they're thinking about is you're having success. Since you let go of this person or they let go of you, however it played out in your experience, they have gone down a rabbit hole. Things have progressively gotten worse for them. You, on the other hand, keep rising. Nine of Pentacles, pinnacle of success. You're celebrating your life. You're having fun. You've let go of control and surrendered everything to the divine. And things are, are aligning for you in a beautiful way. And so this person is seeing the difference between the choices they've made and, and the path in their life and where it's taken them and the choices that you have made and how it has elevated you. They, they can't help but see the difference, the contrast. With Treasure Island, this person sees you as a treasure now. The blockages, they're in a nightmare. They juggled you, the high priestess, someone that's very intuitive, very spiritually gifted. You have spoken truth to this person and I feel like this has really got this person um, freaked out because it's coming to pass all that you've spoken to this person. Treasure Island, let's clarify it, Treasure Island. Yeah, four cups, like I said. Whatever truth you spoke to this person is coming to pass. They're sitting in the energy of regret and sadness, uh, depression, feeling like I've missed an opportunity. And yes, yes sir, you did. Yes ma'am, you did. That's why you don't take for granted those that have genuine love for you. That's why you don't, you don't crap on people because you end up crapping on yourself. All right, this person's at a fork in the road. They, they know that they're gonna have to put in a lot of work to match your energy in the King of Pentacles. I don't think you're interested no matter what work they do. They need to do work for themselves to be a better human being, uh, to evolve spiritually, because whatever they've been doing, it's not benefiting them. Yeah, yeah, you keep rising in the Nine of Pentacles energy and this person going through this experience is their karmic lesson. This is justice. This is uh, definitely a lesson in humility and um, how to treat people. You know, this person took you for granted. And I feel like this person is being replaced by someone else. So definitely, yeah. See, this person that wants to be this King of Pentacles, they're under judgment now and they're trapped. This is karma, like I said, is karma. You know, the cycle has closed because you've closed this cycle out with the world here. You know, this person created a massive imbalance for you and they did it for a really long time. They wanted to be a player. They wanted to have their freedom. They wanted to abuse you. Now you've taken your power back and you're not interested. Now you know your value and worth, you're not interested. So let's see what else we get guys. Let's pull 
from this deck. All right, so this this false person that's still not grounded in reality, they're still delusional. Um, they know they made a mistake. They can see you are the gift and the blessing now, and they want to swing back around with an offer. All that glitters. Yeah, they see you as this queen of pentacles. They know your value now. They see how grounded and stable you are. Uh, you know, they, they are starting to understand the difference between being with someone that's very grounded and stable and being with this karmic energy that is the direct opposite. You know, this person is stuck in this karmic cycle with this third party feeling really sad. They know it's ending. It's not working out. Um, it was destined for failure because it wasn't um, built on a stable foundation. Please clarify, round and round, round and round. Yeah, it's a nightmare for this person. Yeah, this emperor, this this emperor that fell from grace, that, that decided they were gonna um, look for greener pastures, they're in a nightmare. It's an actual nightmare. Um, yeah, they had the 10 of cups with you and instead they broke your heart. And that, that's what started this, this wheel of fate and destiny for you. Your highest timeline, your best life. That's what's unfolding for you. Uh, with Thinker, this person's deep in thought now. They're, they're reflecting on how their selfish, immature, egotistical ways um, attach them to this karmic partner. Recognizing you are the gift, seeing that you have been, you've elevated since you have left them, that you are having success and they wanna communicate. Thinker. Let's clarify thinker. Yeah. This person stuck right where they were where they are. They're stuck being forced to reflect on their options, their choices, their decisions. Um and they're also reflecting on how you moved on. Not only did you move on to peace, but like I said, you've been elevated. Your wishes and dreams are coming true. The common denominator here is this person's toxic. They're having to face the reality that they are toxic. That's what I feel. They're toxic. Uh, this treasure island, this person is now seeing you as the treasure. They're in a nightmare. That's the blockage. They juggled you. You're the high priestess of the king of swords. You spoke truth to this person. You were very predictive in whatever you said, and it came to pass. This person sitting in the energy of the four of cups, feeling sorry for themselves, knowing that they missed an opportunity. Treasure island. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles, this is the blockage. They thought they were going to receive something. For some of them, it was money. For others, it was status. It was an ego stroke. Whatever it was, they're not going to receive anything in this union. This karmic connection is blocked. The spiritual realm has blocked this person from receiving anything. It's cause and effect. You cause pain and suffering in another. You are dishonest, disloyal. You cheat, lie, steal. You slander. You manipulate. You get blocked because you get back the energy that you send out. This person is definitely learning a lesson, not only about humility, but, um, and kindness and real love and how to treat people. Um, but cause and effect energy, how energy works. This person is getting schooled in energy with the fork in the road. This person, they're at, a, they're stuck. They're at a stalemate. They know they have to make a decision. They also know they're going to have to put in a lot of work to be a king of pentacles to match your energy. What they're going through is justice. This is what's fair because of the energy this person has projected, what they have done, their actions, their thoughts, their words. Please clarify fork in the road. Yeah. See, this person, the blockage for this person is they were an emotional manipulator. They're being blocked. Any time or energy that they put into anything is not going to be effective. They will not gain, whether it's their relationship, whether it's work, whether it's uh, financial endeavors, nothing's going to work. It's all being blocked because of this person's emotional manipulative behavior toward other people to get what they want. Definitely a punishment. This is a punishment that they brought about in their own life. They did this with their energy. They're bringing their own punishment in. Yeah, because they came against their empress and now the cycle's closed. It's over. 
the Empress has been set free from you. You need to go off and learn your lesson like the Empress learned her lesson and elevated. That's, that's the advice here. Yeah, see, you close the cycle and this person's bound to a karmic that's devil, toxic, low vibrational. This is what they bound themselves to. They want to communicate because they can't stop thinking about the past, the connection, the marriage they had with you. And they would give anything to be able to have another chance with you. Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. But this person's a breadcrumber. This person likes to make people options because they're insecure. They need multiple options because they feel broken. They don't feel good about who they are. So this person is, is constantly making people options, having multiple, you know, partners. Yeah, this person will always create um, an energy where you are needing to defend yourself. You are needing to fight for, for your own thoughts, views, opinions. Th this person is under judgment. They're under judgment. And the relationship marriage they're in is going to fall and they will be in the Two of Swords energy. And they're going to have to find the inner strength to do the work. King of Wands and strength. They're going to have to find the inner strength to heal and move on from this situation so that they can have a new beginning. If they want a chance at having any type of happiness in, in this life, that's what has to be done. And that's between them and the good Lord. You know, they have free will. They can be the devil energy the rest of this life if they want. But that's the experiences that they will have returned to them. If that's what they choose but i can tell you the collective we keep rising we keep growing we keep loving and that's the energy that we choose to be in um you know love feels a lot better than hate greed anger bitterness resentment jealousy envy love feels so much better and so i feel like you know for some of you maybe this person does do healing work for others you know, they're too too old and too set in their ways to make any changes. This is the only way they know to be is, is diabolical. And it's sad and unfortunate. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, look. The runner is codependent. This is a codependent energy that rules with um, with control and dominance. They have obsession, obsessive patterns. And they're emotionally blocked. And they're a runner. And that's why. When they're not capable of having a... A true emotional connection or bond they're just not capable of it what do we need to know about this Holy Spirit yeah still wearing a mask poker face um, this person they took a gamble and they lost everything this person uh, has not grown or evolved in the current energy they're still fake and phony they have not grown from the situation at all if you're wondering, no, they have not. Yeah. See, they're in a karmic relationship that's falling apart. There is no love in this situation. They know that it's going up in flames. They can feel it. They see the signs of it. But there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah. Mirroring each other. So I feel like this person called in a mirror reflection of who they are spiritually, which is dark. They called in this karmic partner and the universe was like, okay, you don't want your soulmate we gave to you, your gift, your blessing. You don't want to work on that relationship. You think that you're going to um, find greener grass elsewhere. Let us give you a mere reflection of who you are spiritually. And that's what happened. And that's why this person isn't happy. Yeah, looking at your pictures, missing you, nostalgic. This is why you're picking up on this energy. Yeah, their marriage is falling apart. Their marriage is falling apart. Whatever or long-term commitment is falling apart. Let me see what that says. Yeah, higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union and completion. It's in reverse. This is not a, a long-term commitment that would last. Because it was, it was not based on a, a love or a stable foundation. Now you, on the other hand, you have ascended. You've done the work. You've learned and you've grown. And you're stepping into a new phase in your life. And this person wants to express love to you now. 
And how do you have even the nerve to do that? When you have treated someone like they are nothing and you've broken their heart, thrown them to the curb, humiliated, embarrassed them, um, lied about them, how do you, how could you even think that it would be received well to come in and say to that person, oh, I love you. That's sick and twisted to me. Um, needing time, cycles and takes time, time to heal, progressing, it's in reverse. There is no healing left. This person has run out of time as it pertains to collective. They've wasted too much time and you're making healthy choices, which is choosing you, choosing to love you first. You know you deserve better than this experience. It was a lesson and you've taken the lesson. You know, this person's heartbroken now because they were charmed by a snake. They were lured in by a karmic partner. But you know what? That was this person's vibration. They were obviously seeking someone else. So they can't blame the karmic. They need to take accountability. You know, they were a willing participant. Yeah, you want to keep separated. You don't want to be reconnected. You are focused on paradise, happiness, joy. This person didn't bring you any joy. This person operated in ego, false pride. Yeah, backstabbing in reverse. It says heart, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception, lies, shocking attack in reverse. You've healed from it. You're not affected. You're not bothered by anything this person says or does or what they did in the past. You have released it. They have, they don't have the ability to affect you emotionally anymore. You're too grounded, you're too stable. You've learned too much, you've evolved. This person, they're not the Phoenix rising. This person, it says new phase, rekindle, renew and growth, change mind, rise from the ashes. This person is stuck, learning nothing, round and round and round. This is gonna continue until this person learns their lesson, until this person is accountable for the things that they have done from a heartless, cruel, egotistical space and does right, which is being honest to every person they lied to and heals and changes. They're gonna stay in that energy. Yeah, all they do is sabotage. They sabotage relationships and they will continue to sabotage every relationship. You said not today. For some of you, it could have been a twin flame union. Doesn't have to be. You don't care who it is. You want real love. You don't care about the title. Could be a twin flame, could be a soulmate. You don't care. You just want real love. You're focused on real love. Yeah, you know, I just heard. <laughs> talk to the hand, talk to the hand. This person wants to talk. They wanna ask you out on a date. That ship has sailed. It's sailed. Cutting ties, cutting out, saving yourself for real love a blooming romance. Yeah, because you're not, you've transformed. You put death to this seductive energy, this person that operates from a lustful space, ego. No, this person wants to chase you. They wanna heal the situation by meeting up. They're reminiscing. But you have a soulmate that you're calling in, a new partner. You're not interested in somebody that has uh, some sort of obsession with money. And for some of you, this person discarded you because they went to another relationship for money. They're in for a shock because it's ending with a snake. This is a narcissist. They're being exposed. All that they've done in the partying, they're being exposed as somebody that is in ego and fear, somebody that lacks self-confidence, that sabotages, and as a runner, someone that likes to have a lot of options, Someone that is distorted in their sexual energy. Yeah, they're being exposed. Plain and simple. They're going to be humiliated. The way they humiliated you is, is how they're going to be humiliated. They are going to be humiliated by this karmic partner. And um, that's between them and the divine. You know, that that's the energy they put out by their actions toward you and toward others. And that's what is coming back to this person, honestly. Let's see if we can get any advice. Um, what advice do you have for the collective? So, like I said, you guys may be picking up on this person's energy. Just reject and rebuke it. Stay in the vibration of love. 
just recognize how far you've come, the lessons you've learned. Um, just really appreciate yourself today. It hasn't been easy, I know. What advice do you have for the collective? You can think of a yes or no question. What advice do you have for the collective? They said you have abundance. Focus on your creative projects. Focus on manifesting what it is you desire and forgive and release this person. Just forgive them. Detach your energy by forgiving in your heart whatever was done. Forgiving the situation so that you can move on in peace. I'm telling you, this person is not worthy of any anger, any energy, whether it's anger, bitterness, or resentment. And they said there's nothing for you to worry about. Things are happening exactly the way it's supposed to. The answer is no. Um, this could be no for now or no forever. If it's no forever, there's something better for you, okay? They said it's up to you, though. You have free will. You have free will. They do want you to know there will be an opportunity for a romance, a true divine partnership that's coming in for you. Not someone that operates in ego. It will be a success. Not someone that would trade you in for someone that they thought had more. You're choosing a new direction. Some of you could be relocating, traveling. It's just choosing a new direction that's going to improve your situation, okay? That's beautiful. Anything else? Yes. Then we got a yes. <laughs> so if you've been waiting on something, there may be a delay. <clears throat> it may be a no for now, but yes in the future. <clears throat> and like I said, it could be that they have something better in store for you. So sometimes when we think we want something and we don't get it, and then for example, a job, Say you want this specific job and you're like, oh my gosh, I always wanted this job. You go, um, you apply for it, you have an interview for it, and then you don't get it and you're crushed. Well, then a week later, you get offered a job, maybe in the same line, but it's a higher position. You make more pay. The people are amazing. The divine knows when you trust, they know what's right for you. You just have to be open and recognize that if you don't get what you think you wanted, it's because there's something even better that's coming in for you. So just don't be closed-minded. Uh, be open to whatever the spiritual realm wants to bring to you because they're always going to bring what's for your highest good, especially when you trust. Okay? All right, guys. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading um, or you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio, TikTok, description of YouTube. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.